Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and today in Shiksha Mantra we are going to discuss something very much special, something that you must know while you are learning English grammar and what's this? This is the difference, the difference between common noun and proper noun. We'd learn in very simple term and in a very simple methodology about the differences in between common noun and proper noun. So let's begin. Yes dear friends, common noun and proper noun. If we very technically talk of its definition that you would find in your book what you would say you would say common noun is attached to a group a group of common things or beings so here in common noun a group is considered and they are given a common name though that common name might get associated with a single of them or many of them that's the singular and plural concept for common noun. How? Suppose if I say elephant, hmm? what would happen? Elephant means a special types of animal. And at the same time, you may say elephants. Now, what? where lies the difference between elephant and elephants? When you say elephant, it means those animals, but only one of them. But when you say elephants, it means many of them. So, this is the concept of common noun, very simple concept. When a name is associated with common things, a singular name with which many of those common things or beings would be understood. And this is called common noun. But what is the proper noun? Yes, dear friends, there lies the key. A proper noun is a particular name associated to a common noun. So when the same elephant is named as Moti and you would say, here comes Moti, the elephant. Here the elephant is obviously what? This is the common noun. But Moti, this is the proper noun. So here comes the elephant, Moti, or here comes Moti, the elephant. Moti stands for the proper noun and elephant for the common noun. So dear friends, this is the trick. When a particular name gets associated to a common name, we consider this particular name as proper noun. So that's it. That's the trick. So let me tell you another story. One day I was uh, sitting on my veranda on an easy chair reading a book and suddenly I have found a man coming. He came almost uh, in a very uh, rush. He came very hurriedly and uh, he uh, went on mumbling a lot of words which I didn't understand even a single one. What he said? So I asked you, hello sir, what's your problem? Could you stay a bit cool and quiet and tell me very distinctly about your problem? Now the man stopped. And I said, could you please tell me what's your good name? He said, I am Biren Boss. So I said then, hello, so Biren Boss, could you please tell me what's your problem? So what happens in this story? The storyline is very much interesting. The man comes and I asked for his good name. He said, I am Biren Boss. So here the man is the common noun and Biren Bos is the proper noun. So till I don't know the particular name of that person, I considered him to be a common noun, the man. But when his particular name is known to me, I considered him as a man with a particular name. And now I'm not using the word the man, rather I'm using what? I'm using Biren Bosch. So I'm using his particular name. That means I'm using proper noun here, though at the beginning I was using common noun. So this is the way, this is how we may differentiate in between a common noun and a proper noun. So here you must understand another thing. What's this? Could you tell me what's this? What's written? It's written star. Now, if I say the sun, now I have given a particular name to that star and the star has become the sun. So this is how 
a common noun gets associated with a particular name and we consider it as a proper noun. So you must remember that whenever there is a proper noun, the proper noun is obviously a common noun which has been given a particular name. So everything has two names, common noun and proper noun. It would be easier to understand you how it goes. Suppose, uh, consider yourself. You have a name and that name uh, is uh, registered in your school, college, office and everyone knows you by that name. So that's the common name. There's also a name which you call nickname and that nickname is not known to many. It's only known to your family members. Okay, so that is the common noun and proper noun. When you are in your office or in your school, your friends, your colleagues would call you by your yes, good name, not the nickname. And when you are home, no one is going to call you by that name. Rather, they would call you by nickname. So the same thing happens for Biren Bose as well. So far, I'm not associated with his particular name. I called him the man, the man, common noun, which is common for everyone. All the people of the world would call him by that name, the man or man. But when his particular name is known, we won't call him the man or a man or man. Rather, we'd call him Biren Bose. So that's the trick. That's how common noun and proper noun are different from each other. And that's all from today. From this session, we are returning very soon with a very tricky video regarding this common noun and proper noun. And tell them bye-bye. Wait for the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.